Configure NAT for IPv4. Network address translation for IPv4. Addressing table. Three routers. Okay. R1, R2, R3. PC1, PC2. Local server. Cisco server and outside PC. Configure dynamic NAT with path. Okay. Network address translation with port address translation. Configure a static NAT. Use a name and access list to permit the addresses from LAN1, LAN2, and LAN3 to be translated. Okay, this is LAN1, this is LAN2, and this is LAN3. Okay, specify the LANs in this order. Okay, LAN1, LAN2, and LAN3. Okay, use the name R2 NAT K sensitive. The name you use must match this name exactly. Okay, K sensitive. Uh, okay, configure on R2. Because R2 is the border router between internet and LAN networks. Okay, go to R2. Command line interface. And enable configure terminal name and access list IP access dash list okay. and use a simple standard access list and standard access list is enough standard standard use this name or two not K okay, sensitive R2 not enter and permit plans in this order 1, 2, and 3. 1 is this 192.168.10.0.24. Permit 192.168.10.0.24 wildcard 000.255 enter. Land 2 192.168.20.0.24. Permit 192.168.20.0 and wildcard for 24. And land 3, 192.168.30.024. Permit 192.168.30.024. Create a NAT pool. Name it R2 pool. Okay. You are on standard name and access list configuration mode exit. Go to global configuration mode and create NAT pool. Okay. IP NAT pool R2 pool R2 pool space. The pool should use the first address from 209.165.202.128 prefix 30 address space. Okay. The first address, only the first. 120A is the network address. And the first host address is 129. And only use the first 209.165.202.129. The first host address of this network address. 120A is the network. 129 is the first. 130 the second. And 131 the broadcast. But only use the first. Uh, 209, 165, 202, 129 again. Okay, from 129 to 129 to use only one. And net mask theory. 255, 255, 255, 252. Enter. The pool name you use must match this name exactly. R2 pool exactly. All translated addresses must use these address. Okay. Only 129. 129. Configure NAT with the access control list and network address translation pool that you have created. Okay, you created the access list, you created the pool. Now create the relation between access list and pool. IP NAT inside 
source list is a name of the list r2 not r2 not space the pool the name of the pool r2 pool r2 pool k okay, sensitive but remember you will use uh, path port address translation okay you are using only one ip address and only one ip address will not be enough for three lands for three local area networks so that's why use overload overload with path okay and configure static NAT to map the local PKA server inside address to the second address of 209.165.202.128 through the address space. Okay, the local PKA server, the, this is the server local that PKA inside is 2182.168.20.254, the private IP address with the public IP address 209.165.202.130. Okay, remember 128 is the network address, 128 is the network address, 129 the first and 130 the second. So use the second for the public outside address. Okay, go to R2 again, IP not inside source static because it's a static NAT. And uh, inside, inside 182, 168, 20, 254, a space outside 209.165.202.130. 209.165.202.130. And that is enough. Configure the interfaces that will participate in that. Okay. Okay, interface serial 010, the connection to internet is interface outside for NAT. Interface serial 010, enter IP NAT outside. Outside, enter. Okay, this, uh, this another interface. Okay, the fast Ethernet 000 interface on R1, the only one fast Ethernet interface, fast Ethernet 000. Okay, another interfaces are serial interfaces. This is the only one fast Ethernet 000 inside for NAT interface, fast Ethernet 000. Okay, invalid interface. Okay, verify uh, and show running config. Okay, it's only fast Ethernet 00. Okay, only fast Ethernet 00. 192.168.21 belongs to this, uh, this network and fast Ethernet 00. Okay, space, 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 configure terminal interface fast Ethernet 00. IP not inside. Enter. This another serial interface is uh, serial zero zero zero. The connection to R one serial zero zero zero. Interface serial zero zero zero. IP not inside. Also inside. And this another interface. Serial 001, the connection to R3. Interface serial 001, IP NAT inside, exit. And there is only one outside interface, the connection to internet and other interfaces in, inside. Okay, very nice. Mm. Verify. PC1, desktop. Common prompt ping to Cisco server 209.165.201.30. Okay, PC1 ping 209.165.201.30. Success.
okay go to pc2 desktop common prompt ping cisco 209.165.201.30 success okay you verify it uh, dynamic not with path and now verify a static NAT. How you can verify a static NAT? Access the outside or public IP address of local server from outside PC. Go to outside PC, desktop, command prompt, ping, public, 209.165.202.130D. This public IP address for a static NAT uh, outside PC enter. Success and verify on R2 and privilege exit mode show IP NAT translations. And you will see this uh, 192.168.30D10. Okay, it's PC2, PC2 IP address 192.168.30.10, go to R2, was translated to 209.165.202.129, okay, the first IP on the pool, the only one IP on the pool, uh, four pings, okay, and outside local and outside global is 209.165.201.30. 209.165.201.30, the IP address of the Cisco server. Okay, Cisco server, in all cases. And, and this another 182.168.20.254 is the IP address of server, local server. 182.168.20.254. Was translated 209.165.202.130D. 209.165.202.130D. This is the static NAT, four pings. Outside local and outside global. 209.165.201.14. 209.165.201.14, the IP address of outside PC. 209.165.201.14. Okay. 100%. Thank you very much.